All right, hey guys, and welcome to, we are now one day out. Welcome to the video. Um, today we're gonna take you through pretty much the entire day of what I get up to uh, with my clients uh, here at the Village Hotel in Coventry. Um, it's pretty dead actually, it's really weird staying in a hotel in, the, in this time period. So for anyone watching that's like looking through the archives, we are still in this coronavirus period of time. So the hotels are dead, we're having to walk around with masks, all that jazz. I wonder how long this will last for. Uh, we will see, we'll soon find out. But uh, yeah, so today I have taken my photos. We managed to set up some kind of ultra flex-ish lighting over there. So that's doing bits. And we will also have my clients checking in that lighting as well. Close the blind, try and create some sort of like down lighting. So. Um, we can sort of get some, some decent shots and have an understanding as to where they're all at, make some minor manipulations with a few of them if they need it. Uh, for me, this morning I was 160.8 pounds, which is the lightest I've been all prep. So the goal was today to run actually a little bit of a lower food day, about 300 grams of carbs. So I've run 500 on Thursday, 500 on Friday, yesterday, and now Saturday. So we were gonna run less just so I could absolutely ensure that I would hit weight, make weight at 3 p.m. at 165 pounds. I think the scales that are gonna be used are notoriously a little bit lighter anyway, and I know my scales are notoriously a little bit heavier. Everyone that's weighed on mine tends to think, oh, a bit heavier than usual. So I imagine I've got a little bit more wiggle room than I think, but I still wanna be careful because I wanna be at the top of my weight category rather than at the bottom of another. So, Today, most likely we'll do another 500 grams of carbs. I've done lots of posing this morning, especially trying to find the right lighting. The rest of the day, apart from just eating around about 500 grams of carbs, I'll hitch have just my feet up and trying to do as little as possible um, on, my, on, on my legs. So I might go, I might go for a little bit of a walk um, and get some fresh air at some point. Uh, maybe between check-ins and things like that, because I'm still working today, um, just to keep myself busy. So I might do a little bit of a walk, just to get some blood flow and move around a little bit, but nothing far, um, and it saves me from sort of just sitting in the hotel room all day. And we will film me getting my tan, or at least some of it, we might film just outside, I'm not sure as to whether they'll allow someone else in. And yeah that's about it i'm gonna get the tan done with nicola at a1 tanning so if you ever are doing a uk fba show she is the absolute best person to use they use the black magic tan and it looks immense well the last time i had it they used the black magic and uh, yeah it looks immense and it obviously just saves the massive amount of stress that you create from having to do your own tan so getting her to do it is is going to be fantastic so i'm looking forward to that um i've just had mike check in david check in and finn Connor's yet to check into shit, so I imagine he's waiting for some good lighting. Uh, so I'll look through all their photos, listen to their voice note. They give me a, a quick voice note each morning, let me know how they feel, and I'll get back to them. Um, and yeah, I think uh, mindset wise, I'm in a good spot. Uh, getting lots of lovely messages, so I really appreciate all the, all the support. This will come out after the show itself, so um, I'm, I'm trying to get back to all of you and say thank you, but. I think a lot of them I might miss just because I'm focusing on what I have to do for my clients and also like my non-negotiable tasks for myself. And that is something actually that's a take home for, for, for people watching is that make sure you remind yourself to like in this moment of time, do be a bit selfish and do put yourself first a little bit. Um, in some instances, obviously my clients will always take a priority and the people around me will, will take a little bit of a priority as well. Um, but at the same time, I have to be a bit selfish and luckily enough, I've got some great people around me that are very, very supportive and help me out with a lot. So um, yeah, we'll see you guys during the day. Thanks again for tuning in. You there last night and the hotel's decent and everything sound. Um, let me know if there are some about you taking the, um, the fridge in because we've got one as well. Um, everything's all good. Um, I've had two shits this morning. Just thought you might want to know that. Um, so, uh, two shits. Yeah, digestion's still fine, mate. Obviously, I had two fairs. It's pretty common after the high days. Um, yeah, weight wise, 171.75, so exactly the same. Plus, we 0.25 up after the second high day, so very normal. 
Um, let me know what you think to the shots, mate. Obviously, the tan. I've not washed it off yet, so I've literally had the tan on. She said I could wait. I'm going to wash it off yesterday. I'll wash it off today. Great news, he had two shits this morning. That's uh, probably the best start to one day out you can ever have is, uh, is two lovely bowel movements. So, very crisp, very crisp. And as a result of like just the, the fullness that you gained, um, you look so much harder across the board, especially again, like in, in the back shots. I think where you go flat is your back. Um, so yeah, very happy with, with what we've achieved over the high days. And mate, how, how predictable is your weight? Like I told, I pretty much told you what your weight would do this morning and it did exactly that. Like, So I just finished up uh, meal one about half an hour, 40 minutes ago. And I'm gonna do three to five rounds of posing after every meal today, um, as I already said at the start of the video. So the goal with this is just to try and deliver the glycogen where we want it, because uh, we decided um, that after my weight and after my pros photos this morning that we do uh, another high day today, so probably going to do about 400 grams of carbs today, um, just because the reduction in energy expenditure from not training. Uh, so bear in mind, the training sessions that I did, the pull and the push on the 500 days, were probably burning at least 400 calories. So if I remove 100 grams of carbs, that kind of replaces that lost energy expenditure, um, and also allows me to continue like gaining fullness because 400 grams is still 100 grams more than a usual training day when I was dieting. So it's still a good amount more food and still will keep me full. And the thing is I didn't wake up flat either, I uh, just woke up light. Uh, so that is a reduction in diet induced fatigue um, and fluid, like fluid loss. Um, so as a sort of a byproduct of that, I'm now in a position where I can just hold fullness, dry out a little bit more um, so yeah, going through a few rounds of posing. And something for you guys, like, I feel quite good about doing some videos where I'm literally just standing here relaxed, because I want you to realize that like, I don't look <laughs> that big when I'm like this. I just look like a normal dude, really, like a little bit of vascularity and some, a little bit of delt. But the illusion of natural bodybuilding is the condition that we get into and the muscle separation that we had have as a result of like obviously posing the muscle tissue um, and getting it into, into shape. Um, and the muscle density comes as a result of obviously the, the years and years of training. Um, you only have that when you pose. You know, when, you, when you're relaxed and when I'm in clothing, I really don't look that big at all. Um, but on stage, it's the illusion of posing. Um, that's why I love figure as well, like as a category, is because the girls, even at Olympia level, aren't that big in person, but when they pose, it's just ridiculous. Um, it's just a crazy illusion. So, um, yeah, don't expect to see some big jack dude if you see me in person, come say hi. So, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, keep going. My first meal was 100 grams of cream of rice, 40 grams, or, sorry, 30 grams of whey isolated and dropping down the protein, um, and three, camera, <laughs> three, <laughs> three caramel rice cakes. And uh, that went down a treat. So uh, next meal will be uh, a bit of chicka rice. Chicky rice. Um, I'm just doing some check-ins as well. Um, and just chilling. Goodbye from me and my boxes. All right guys, so we are just at the Diamonds Gym, just near the, the uh, venue for tomorrow at the Bedworth Civic Hall. Um, just got the tan done. Uh, first layer with Nicola, um, so with A1 tanning, which I mentioned earlier. So if you are doing Euclid FBA show, it's just so much easier just to get it done with her. She does a great job. Um, so base coat will just be slept in tonight. Uh, won't be washed off, and then I'll come back tomorrow morning. I think it's like 11.30 and get my second layer. So um, you thought I was dark before with the sunbeds? Not quite. Not quite dark enough for stage. So um, going to head back now, get another meal in and then we will have Connor, Finn 
and Mike and David all heading round to, to have a look um, and see where they're, they're at and of course I think most of them had their base layers of tan as well um, so we'll see how that looks and how that settles on their skin making sure that everything's good uh, I have encouraged them all to follow the right process with regards to like using the right shower gels etc etc but uh, something always ends up going a little bit wrong but uh, hopefully not today and yeah so we'll grab an uber back and we'll see you guys in a bit you're getting on that glue bear it's still a bit flippery this side mate, still it's a been bit flippery in the car like yeah. that's that's oh, that's that's fucking really moving all the way in the car yeah okay okay if it starts hurting with your posing just don't do any more posing it doesn't tonight. it doesn't hurt if anything the posing makes it better so like, if i'm sat for too long it just seizes up like yeah. i was having to move it in the car okay Try and get the balance of like. I think your foot positioning is good. I think you need to think less about flexing your calf and just come up onto your toes a little bit, like a little bit to get your hands on, and then make sure that your glutes are like a little bit contracted as well, because otherwise you're going to come off one or the other. Hands. Yeah, good. With the toe, like with the toe, it's like obviously you want to come onto your toes to contract your calf, but uh, sorry, to contract your hamstring, but try and not like come up and down, yeah. and like set them to a point where you've like you set it on your toes, but then you hold, like you hold that position, like you're curling up a little bit, like on a ham curl, but then you hold that position, and that should never come away. But this like, is so difficult, I know, because I've, I'm struggling with it myself. They're on, keep them there. Five, four, three, two. Yeah, that was good. Nice. Oh, that looks sick. Lift up. Fantastic. Glute, a little bit more on your glutes. Mm, sciatica. Is it hurting a little bit? No, oh, mate. Okay. Just, just, just need to, just need to get the balance of like the glute to the hamstring, because if you do too much ham, you lose your glute. If you yeah. do no ham and glute, you soften up in the hamstring. So, but then I said to you, I felt a bit flat um, in like the hotel and that when we were doing some pauses when we got there. Okay. Um, what did you, what did you yeah. think? Yeah, yeah, a bit flat. I don't know. I dealt with some of my chest, but, but then when I started yeah, pausing, it started going through through it, so. Right. Okay. Plenty of pauses. Okay. And remind me of what weight did this morning? It dropped a little bit, didn't it? Or um, it was eighty-one bang on. on. Yeah, eighty-one okay. bang on. And then comparison to the last day, <laughs> the day before, which was eighty point. You were plus five. Yeah. A little bit up. No, I was a pound up from yesterday to today. Ah, oh, right, okay, um, perfect. You, you okay. said something like you just so I'm caught up on it. Competing, oh, you missed yeah, that. Right, How about it? Uh, Step back just a little bit. <laughs> Such a better pose, man, I must say. Sick. Yeah, got a turn. I like the trunks as well. Mate, limited edition. Yeah, yeah look at <laughs> that. Splash that, 10 on these. Look at that, you're taking them sparkle bikini. <laughs> <laughs> Straight in the free port, isn't it, man? <laughs> cool, got a turn. When you turn to the back, um, make sure you like posteriorly tilt straight away yeah. don't let your glutes relax because okay. like that's your softer area at the moment and yeah, if yeah. you just go to the back and you relax it really highlights where you're soft yeah so just get them tilted back first because they look relatively lean when you're when you tilt them back like this because i would yeah. i was saying to him shall i took them like this on some of the shots like this yeah you get a bit more hamstring when you do that you've got a bit i more get i get a lot of hamstring when i do yeah, that. Yeah, but like when I when I'm like this, it's hard. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, I'll look at both the yeah, yeah. poses. So, can you drop? There we go. Good. Got a again. Just me a little more. Nice. Yep, good. Got his name. Nice. Yeah, 
살라고? Don't drop it so you like depressed. That's it, just still left. But when did you last see? As well? When we got to the hotel. Okay. Which was about after my turn, about an hour after my turn. Okay. So it's been a good few hours, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Just keep your stomach in. That's it. When you're when you pose when you're posing at front last spread, any pose as well. Breathing. Just like don't don't like let your Why? stomach come in and yeah. out when you hit. I don't yeah. know, Just get straight in and hold. Okay. I don't it. It's pretty cold in here, so I'm gonna take you through like a few rounds just to try and get you warm. But yeah, because I wanna see how you look when you're warm. Did you know you can rewatch all your favourite taskmasters and take free and on demand with the UK TV play? This is Taskmaster. Okay. And you can pause anytime. Turn. Yeah. Pick up where you left off. Oh, it's back straight away. Turn the knees out a little bit more. Create more quad. That's it. Go on your boots and hands a little bit more. Turn your, like, basically sit on the front of your toes a little bit more. Get your hamstrings. There you go. There we are. That's better. Lift your chest up. Yeah, cool. Just, uh, UK TV play. It doesn't matter how sick you are. Right. The whole community is not a funny comedian. Yeah, man. Yeah, of course. Bring it in, big two. Yeah. At the end of the day, we're all standing there. Elvis to wall. That's better. Because I'm down here, I'm judging. Sit. That's it. That's perfect. Yeah, I thought I like that. Can you try and um, tilt your pelvis back a little bit more? Tilt your hips back? Because right now you've pl you've played about. I, I know in your check-ins you've been tucking your glutes more. You've been like thrusting your hips through. I think it narrows off your back just a little bit, and you haven't yet got like quite enough glute detail to like. Because I don't even tuck because it doesn't offer me anything. So tilt the hips back and try and get on your hamstrings more because you've got ham plenty of hamstring detail. Tilt your hips back. Hips, hips back. So look at me doing. So right now. Right now you're doing this, tucking in, yeah? I want you to almost do that. Hips back and chest up, hips back, there, there. But stay on your hamstring still. I just want to see how it looks. And then elbows forwards. Yeah, but I'm leaving now, I've got to be by one. That gives you so much more shape, mate. Do that. Do that, the same in your relaxed breath. Okay, from the side. Keep the midsection tight. There we go, because you showed detail there. Yeah, boom. Oh, so good. Hey, honestly, you could. Yeah, rear that, uh, yeah, just so try to. we are wrapping up one day out so today's been a really really good day it's been a bit of a weird one because I've just been sat around not doing very much and uh, it feels odd to be doing that when I'm so used to like training or even on a rest day I try and stay busy so I've been so used to trying to stay busy that doing 
less is is kind of like a bit of a, a weird thing to do but it's been nice and i've i've obeyed the rules um like Loz went out earlier to sainsbury's and i was like i shouldn't go out to sainsbury's like i kind of wanted to go on a walk and like move um because my mindset's like move equals good because i've been so used to like trying to move to stay in a calorie deficit and uh, to keep up my energy expenditure but I realized that today you know Cuba told me not to move much so I didn't move much and I think I'm on about three and a half thousand steps but I have done a lot of posing um, I have tried to like stand up a fair bit as well because I think lying down on a bed or, or sitting on a chair all day is like gonna lock up my hips a little bit so I have tried to move a little bit um, I feel really really good I know that when I get warm and when I get pumped I'm gonna be full because um, I've got plenty of food in me we're just gonna finish off the day with a protein and fat based meal. So I'm literally just gonna have about 100 grams of cooked weight chicken and about 30 grams of uh, dark chocolate. Uh, just a very small meal to keep the, the midsection tight and, and wake up tomorrow um, in a good position body weight wise, but also in a good position with midsection control. And then t tomorrow morning, we'll probably like get a black coffee down me, get a usual meal one down me. Um, try and stimulate some sort of bowel movement um, to basically just clear me out before I get on stage so that everything's again very crisp and tight in the midsection but to be honest I feel very small very tight in my waist because the food volume has been so low today in comparison to what I normally have um, obviously normally I'm slamming veg and I'm slamming fruit I'm having like 400 grams 500 grams of fruit a day uh, at least 350 grams of veg and I've had like no veg today and mm, 100 grams of fruit so if I don't go for a bowel movement it's not the end of the day uh, it's not the end of the day it's not the end of the world um, but uh, we will uh, we'll hope we'll hope for a bowel movement <laughs> I'm not just going to talk about uh, bowel movements for the rest of this uh, vlog um, so yeah I think besides that um the the goal sort of like tomorrow will just to be um again like not assessing my physique overly like too much because i've got a layer of tan on that's going to be smudged through a night of sleep and the hard work is done so over analyzing and over assessing what i'm looking like right now is just not going to help me if anything it's going to hinder me psychologically so i'd rather know that i'm in a good place um, I've been in a good place all of today and I will be tomorrow because I'm going to get a good night's sleep tonight um, and everything's just where it needs to be so a lot of people ask me how, how you feeling, how you feeling, I'm just feeling like chilled, excited, I'm just having a good time and I think that's what a show should be about is I, I've not worked 31, well it's not just 31 weeks but I've not worked basically you know two, three years for this goal to like come to the show and just like acts like headphones in world out or like you know be overly serious about the day like obviously i'm taking it extremely seriously but you know we just sat in here me finn's girlfriend Lars, and we're just all having like a laugh and having a nice time and that's what a bodybuilding show is meant to be about is like enjoying it and having fun and spending time with people that you, you know you like and you, and you enjoy spending time with them because you're all like-minded um and it's been great obviously to see all my other clients today david connor mike um they're all looking fantastic they've all done equally an amazing job at this prep um and it's so like rewarding for me and makes me feel so good to, to be able to see them enjoy this process as well um and i think besides that like, i just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has followed this series up to this point and I hope that I've inspired and motivated and helped you guys along a little bit with, with your journeys. And if you choose to compete as a byproduct of following this, or you choose to be more dedicated or be more meticulous, or I don't know, like just take something positive from it that's, uh, that's applied in any aspect of your life. It does not have to be bodybuilding, it could be any endeavor then my job is done with this series because that's that's all it was meant to be like i wanted to call this series the level up and for some reasons i couldn't so i searched up words that were similar and that's why we came to upshift 
Now upshift is like not just bodybuilding. Upshift is everything. Upshift is like upshifting life, upshifting just you as an individual. So if you are upshifted by this, then that is the the series, the series's purpose, so to speak. Um, and I am thinking about like what I call the off-season series because in reality, like I do want it to be continuation of upshift. Um, but I think I will keep the name upshift for my next prep, um, which will be like up, upshift 2.0 or something like that. Um, and we'll keep running them for every sort of prep that I do. And uh, so any off-season names, like let me know guys if you've got any ideas. Um, but for now, I'm very grateful, you know, very grateful. Um, I feel con content with just everything and how this prep has gone. I can, I can rest sort of assured that whatever the result, tomorrow um i have done my job um but again i'm not gonna lie as much as i may seem relaxed and i may seem happy and like just having a good time in my head i'm very focused on what i want to achieve and the goal at hand and uh, trust me i can be serious when when i need to be serious so i won't be getting up, up on stage and, and laughing and joking or anything like that i find that the days prior Having a little bit of a laugh and a joke helps me remain calm. Uh, but when I need to turn it on, I, I, I will turn it on. Um, and I will be there and be very present in that moment that I need to be serious and that I need to turn up the heat, so to speak, with my focus. And like all I'll be thinking about backstage is exactly what I want to achieve, exactly what I want. Um, like I'll close my eyes for the whole pump up pretty much and just imagine exactly what I want to achieve. And then I'll... I'll have visualized it so many times that, you know, hopefully it'll become a reality and hopefully you guys will see that as well. So thank you very much for tuning into this episode. Um, we will cap it off here. And as always, if you have any questions about anything that I'm doing, um, please do ask. Um, but again, I appreciate you guys so much and I hope you are all having uh, a fantastic week, a fantastic day. All right, we'll speak soon. Thank you guys.